Okay, now that we have some data in the system, we know how to filter, we got our phone system set up, we got our email set up, so why don't we make our first call within the platform? So there's two ways to place calls um, within the browser. The first way is this icon up here. Now, depending on your workspace and how many global lines you have set up, when you hover over, you'll see all your different lines that you have access to. Now to switch between those lines and to make sure you have one selected, you have to click on one of these lines. So for instance, if I select this line, this is now my default line and I'm logged in and I'm placing phone calls as this line. And I can switch between lines at any moment and make outbound calls that way. When you click the phone icon here, you're not gonna see a number in this section right here. This is where you're gonna have to put in a number, uh, type in a number, um, however to make your first phone calls. Now, to make phone calls, you need to include the country code. So if you're US and Canada, you gotta put the one, uh, 512, the area code, and then of course the number, right? Internationally, same thing. Don't include the plus sign, don't include any spaces or dashes, just you know, type in you know, whatever number you wanna do. And you can do that on your keyboard, you can type in um, by just clicking these buttons, right? And once you get your numbers set and you hit call that will actually start placing that call now before you actually set do any calls you need to make sure you have the right device selected and so there's a couple ways you do that if you just put in the number and hit call you will see a little icon pop up right here a little message bar on your browser depending on what browser you're on to allow access to your microphone you can also do it by just clicking this icon here when you click this icon this pops up now I've already done this. Um, yours is gonna be blank if this is the first time using it in this browser. You can click refresh, and when you hit refresh, you'll get the same message. So you can either place a phone call or use this to uh, go ahead and allow the browser to approve this phone app so you can use your microphone, your speakers. And then just choose whatever one you want for incoming calls or default calls or you know anything that comes in through the system. So again, if you're making phone calls out of here, you must include the full number, the area code, the country code, the area code, um, everything on that aspect of it. Uh, when you place your first phone call, so I'm gonna go ahead and call myself real quick. And again, if you haven't done it, you're gonna have to get approval over here of what app you're doing. But when you first hit call, you're gonna hear a series of beeps and then it starts calling. And then when it calls, we're actually on the call, answered, right? Um, there's a couple icons here that you have access to. One of the icons is uh, transfer mode. So you can actually transfer a call here. So if you click transfer, same thing. You're going to put whatever phone number in, country code. You're going to hit transfer with that icon. You can also mute yourself at any point. So you can mute yourself here. And, you know, again, the transfer function, you can dial. Just make sure it's like you're dialing out. And in addition to that, um, you know, this is basically recording the call if you're in your VoIP settings if you watch that video you can turn off call recording but every outbound call and inbound call is recorded so I'm going to go ahead and hang that up so now receiving a call so what happens when you receive a call a matter of fact let me make sure I have the right speakers set here uh, speakers yep default the ringtone let me go ahead and test that so you're going to hear that noise that's the noise of an incoming call and the way it looks when someone calls you and let me go ahead and call this number real quick. So when you're through the app, you'll start hearing that noise, but you'll also see over here in this area right here, this little message pop up. So of course you can decline the call or you can just simply answer it. And now you're on the you know same phone applet that allows you to actually make the phone call or listen to the call or talk on the phone, right? Um, so at this point, if you're using this up here, this is just like outbounding to somebody that you don't have as a lead. Now, when you're calling someone who is a lead, you can come in here under your lead and inside that lead, you have this icon. When you click this icon, it automatically puts the phone number in the box here so you don't have to do anything and just hit call. So at that point, you're making a phone call and it works the exact same way. But what's cool about this is this is obviously tagged to that lead. And so then it'll show up in your lead timeline, the recording will show up. And so everything that you have here um, will show up in, in association with this lead. So it's pretty simple to make calls. And so there's my call that I just made, right? So, um, you know, again, here you can switch, make sure you have one selected because that means you're logged in. Uh, another thing, 
you know, again, you got to have the country code, no dashes, no spaces if you're going to use this applet here because uh, it doesn't put the number. And then inside the lead, you're simply selecting this call button and making phone calls.